Congratulations. Baby. Feeling good? Yeah, really good. What does this win mean for you guys, Trophy? I mean, there's been eight big ten road wins. You guys have two of them. What's this mean? It, um, it's mean a lot. Um, it shows how tough we are to come on the road and win a really tough environment like this. Um, of course, emphasize on how they play at home and how well they shoot the ball. And us coming out and do, doing this is big time for us. When you, Io, and Trent are on that level that you three were on tonight, do you think anyone can beat you guys? Um, definitely not. It's not even about me, Iowa, or Trent. It's about us coming collectively and doing what we do best, playing defense and getting kills. Um, I think we did a we did, we did a good job today. We could have done better, but that, that's what won the game for us, the defense and us com um, connecting on defense and playing hard. Okay, what's that connection like between you and Iowa on the ball screens? And Has anybody been able to get you the ball like that in your career? No, it's incredible. I love Iowa to death. Um, we all, um, our relationship off the court is really good. I think that translates over to basketball. Me trusting him and him trusting me, and that connection is just like whenever I come up the screen, he always tells me he's going to throw it as high as possible, and I have to go get it. So that really helps. Coach, so Purdue players saying that you guys out tough them. What does that mean to you? Um, I don't, know if, I don't know if that's the right word, but we just do what we do best, man. We just come out here, we win the game on defense. Coach emphasized that a lot in practice and in film. This us coming out here and playing hard on defense to give me our best. Um, shots, shots go in. It's basketball, but defense wins games. Do you play better when you're you know, play angry a little bit? Yeah. Like there's an aggressiveness tonight that you had had in a while. Yeah, definitely. I definitely feel that way. What was what feeling? What led to that? Yeah. Coach um, pushing me in practice, making sure that I'm locked in, um, in scout, um, preparation. It's hard for a guy as quiet as you to become an angry monster on the court. No, it's not. I'm used to it right now. That's my that's my whole dilemma. Okay, I think you guys hit nine straight shots at one point in that second half. Was, was this, were you guys feeling like you're on fire? Because you guys are on fire. Yeah, we definitely, we definitely did. I mean, guys were hot today. Georgia was hot. Trent was hot. Iowa was hot, and that really helped coming down the stretch um, with making a bigger gap and making sure that we seal the game. You started three and seven. It looked like you settled in. Yeah, we definitely got comfortable. Um, it's, it's, it's before every game. You know, you're going to the game and the crowd is there and it's so intense. And then once you get settled in the game, it becomes easier for you to focus and actually do what you have to do. How much did the Northwestern play into what we saw tonight out of you? Just not letting one game turn into two, turn into three, and nip it right now. And play the way you know you're capable of playing. I wouldn't say it had a really big impact on us because like I said earlier we're a really like we're a team that stick to our principles and stick to what we do best and we just emphasize defense, defense, defense. We place a big importance on that and that's what that's what we do. We just, we just come out here, we try to out tougher teams like he said and try to become the, better, the tougher team. So if you guys expect to be this kind of team this year, how does it feel to be producing like you guys are right now? Yeah we definitely felt that way. Um, we knew that we had the tools to win. It was just all about mindset and the grit that's coming out here and playing hard and tenacity and connecting on offense and connecting on defense. Big Ten teams are something like 9-42 and 42 on the road. Maryland won tonight, too. If you guys have two of those wins, though, is there something about you guys that has led to that? Is there something different about you guys or something? Yeah, we don't really listen to what people say. We don't listen to that, oh, it's tough to win on the road. We come out, we we, look, we prepare for every game the same way. We, we prepare for the away game the same way we prepare for the home games, and we, we, we go hard every time, every single trip, so... That helps us a lot on coming out here and getting like tough wins, close wins, because of our toughness. Is there something that like doesn't psych you guys out? I mean, it seemed like a very hostile crowd tonight. No, it doesn't. Um, we have a really good crowd at home. And we just try to come out here and not get fo focus on that and focus on the bigger picture, um, playing together and winning the game. How much, what was the kind of challenge to play without Georgia for 16 minutes in that first half? Yeah. What, what goes through your mind at that point when you see him that he has to sit down? I have to step it up a notch. Um, Georgia helps me a lot on the defensive end. We're talking and rebounding and connecting. So once Georgia gets out, I have to basically pick up his role plus mine and up it up, up it a notch, basically. What's this like, Kofi? Clay and I team is ranked and, and rolling right now. Um, it's been really good. Um, we can't let up now. I mean, we've seen the story over and over again. Red teams get good, and then something happened, and they they fall apart. We have to stick together, keep doing what we've been doing, basically, and prepare for the games right the right way, going hard every day in practice, because when it comes to game time, we play together. We're not actually going at each other's throats. So we connect with that toughness and that and tenacity, and we come out and we play hard. What came together in the second half for you guys? I mean, 
nothing really. We just went to the locker room, um, locked in, um, coach reminded us of what we had to do. We just came out and executed. Obviously, coach was really fired up after that Wisconsin win. I know you guys kind of like drenched him with water. What was the scene like in the locker room today? Oh, uh, yeah, it was really intense. I mean, it's always intense at the road game. Um, you know, road game, it's hard to win on the road. Like, everybody, everybody knows that it's hard to win on the road in Big Ten. And just having that win, it's a really good feeling. So, we're really excited about it. You've been asked this a bunch of times, but when Iowa gets to that pull up late in games, what, what goes through your head? Run back on defense. I literally, I'm not even kidding. Run back on defense. And I told him today at halftime. He was like, "Yo, I gotta make, I gotta make those shots." I'm like, "Bill, I yo, we, we know what you do, man. You, I know that when you're called upon, you're gonna come through. So don't even worry about that. Just know that when your time comes, you're gonna make, you're gonna make those shots." And I just remind him about that. How'd you guys respond when Allen got ejected? What was it like for you guys? Because it felt like it could have been a momentum switch, right? Yeah, I mean, we just stuck, we just stuck together. Um, it's all about being together and making sure that we play for the greater good. Um, Allen being ejected, I mean, I didn't see what happened, but that's not what we do. That's not our, that's not our like, that's not what we do. So we didn't really work, worry about it. We knew that it was probably an accident, so we just locked in together and did it for Allen, basically. What do you think you've shown through eight games, this team in Big Ten? It's maturity. Um, us. Like losing and, and bigger than like that, losing close games and just coming out here and making sure that whenever we're in that situation again, we go harder and we know what we're capable of and we know what we have to do. At the mid range jumper field. It's <laughs> good. I think it starts showing it somewhere. Out of all the Big Ten teams that you guys have seen so far, 